Right, hello everybody, it is Ordinal Wolf, and today we are back in Minecraft playing a new mod. So today we're going to be taking a look at uh, Project E. So if you guys didn't know what Project E is, it is a continuation of Equivalent Exchange 2 from the good old days back in Minecraft. And um, yeah, so today we're just going to look through what it basically adds to the game. So, to start off with, we have um, the Ring of Arcana, so as you can see there's four different coloured variations, these are for the different modes of which it can be set into, and the Ring of Arcana itself is basically a combination of the Ring of Ignition, the Ring of Zero, the Harvest Goddess Band, Swift Wolf's Rending Gale, and um, yeah, so it's basically all of those rings which are just above here, and it's all of those combined. Now, so to go through some of the rings that we've got, so we've got the ignition ring. So the ignition ring itself allows you to launch fireballs, and basically the ranges depend on which charge level it's at. Um, so, you know, just, you know, the more charged it is, the further the, the, the lava balls go. Um, it also grants you immunity to lava and fire damage and then when active um, there's an ability which basically lights the area around you on fire as well as mobs and creatures which is uh, pretty cool and then when right clicked um, when held in the player's hand allows you to turn obsidian to lava so that is pretty cool now next up we have the Void Ring, so the Void Ring is actually another combination ring, so it's basically the Black Hole Band as well as the Gem of Eternal Density in one, however it also adds a nice little buff of teleportation. So I'll come to the other rings which add some of these features in a moment. Now next up we have Swift Wolf's Rending Gale. So Swift Wolf's Rending Gale allows the player to basically have creative flight and it also allows the player to have, you know, well, it negates full damage basically. It also has the ability when in the player's hand to shoot projectiles and then also when active prevents crop trampling. So very useful if you do not wish to smash your crops by walking all over them. Right, next up we have the Zero Ring, so basically this allows, it's it's very similar to the Ignition Ring, just that it's um, actually more like snow. So it launches snowballs and once again at varying ranges depending on its charge level. Um, it also allows you to place snow and freeze water to ice. Um, it, instead of turning obsidian to lava, it turns lava to obsidian, so the complete opposite. It also adds the ability to craft a water bucket to a block of ice. Next up we have the Harvest Goddess Band, so it basically, when active, automatically tills farmland and replants crops. It also has the ability to speed up crop and plant growth rates um, and then it also allows you to shapelessly craft in your crafting table dirt to grass blocks. Next up we have Archangel Smite so basically this allows the player when held in the player's hand to shoot arrows at the cost of EMC um, or dirt and, or cobble even um, and basically the arrows which are fired try to attack the nearest entity, whether that be... So mobs are prioritized first, then whatever's next. So pretty handy if you're uh, just running around at night and want to uh, kill some bad guys. And last but not least for these rings, we have the Black Hole Band. So this basically allows you to collect dropped items um, however this one can actually be placed in two other items which are added into this mod um, which are alchemical bags or chests and basically uh, instead of it being collected to the player's inventory it instead collects those items around to said you know inventory either alchemical bag or alchemical chest 
and then basically when used on liquid it permanently makes them disappear. Right next up we have some more items so these are just various items which have varying different abilities so to start off with we have the body stone so the body stone is basically an item which gives the player hunger bar regen so this is at the cost of EMC which I'll come to a little bit later um, but it's very useful if you you know want to make sure that you don't starve. A combination um, which is very useful with this is um, the soul stone. So the soul stone is the very similar item which enables health regen once again at the cost of EMC so for both of these items it's 64 EMC per hunger bar um, or health bar and then next up we have the mind stone so the mind stone basically allows this doesn't cost EMC by the way but it also allows the player to store or transfer the player's XP to the item so that's quite handy and last but not least we have the life stone which basically combines both the body and soul stone into one item so you can obviously condense that down a little bit and just to sum it up basically gives the player immortality as long as it is powered with EMC. Right, so next up we have the Evertide Amulet. So basically this allows the player to place water or freeze it. Um, it also gives the player water walking abilities and um, basically you can fill empty buckets and turn them into water buckets and it also gives you immunity to drowning. After that we have the Vulcanite Amulet which basically is the direct opposite which allows you to place lava set creatures on fire gives the player lava walking um, allows you to fill buckets with lava and turn them into lava buckets and then also gives you immunity to fire and lava damage next up we have three items um, these are all very similar in terms of functionality just one is more destructive than the next so the first kind of tier of these items is the destruction catalyst so this is basically like a vein mining tool which allows you to depending on a charge um, level it allows you to bore into the earth or ground just blocks in general and it destroys them in a various ranges depending on the charge level this is then continued with the hyperkinetic lens at much higher values and then the catalytic lens is then basically the same as these previous but once again stepped up so it's just absolutely amazing and destroys everything it's just wow um the good thing about using these however is so to reduce the possibility of lag um all blocks destroyed rather than just dropping them then and there condenses them down into balls which then the player can pick up and all said items that were broken then try to get placed in the player's inventory otherwise they stay in the capsule little uh, balls that drop when destroying the earth next up we have the transmutation tablet so the transmutation tablet is um, actually the pocket version of some items well some tools that we're going to look at a little bit later so basically this allows you to turn items into emc and then trade them out for other items so if you hadn't guessed already emc is basically like an energy force which allows you to convert items from one to another um, however this can also be done in the fact that if you condense an item down into emc say such as a diamond which has an emc value of 8192 it allows you to then use that energy to do possible things with say these items as well as the rings and all of this stuff over here um next up we have the watch of flowing time so this basically 
It's a very useful item in the fact that it allows you to speed up tile entity tick rates. So it, at various charge levels can allow you to speed them up by 10% to 20% to 30%. And that's just when put in the player's hotbar. Um, however, this can also be placed on a dark matter pedestal. And um, it's generally just used to speed up machines surrounding it um, by 7%. Um, a maximum of 35 pedestals altogether allow you, you know, you to gain a maximum of 70% increased speed. So just imagine, say, if you had um, silence mechanisms crusher or you had um, the pulverizer from thermal expansion and you had that 70% 70, 70 increased speed. Just imagine how fast that would be crushing those ores. That'd be amazing. Next up, we have the Mercerial Eye. So the Mercerial Eye is, um, if you've played with other mods such as um, Builder's Gadgets, Builder's Wands, such things like that, or um, better ones, um, basically this gives you very similar features in the fact that you can place the same blocks in terms of, instead of actually having to have the blocks in your inventory it actually just allows you to use emc and um, obviously similar to like building gadgets you can select the blocks that you wish to use and then just continue placing them down next up we have the repair talisman talisman so this is actually very useful so this can actually be placed in both your inventory as well as an alchemical chest so when placed in either in of these um, inventories um, it basically slowly repairs items and um, yeah like what else can I say that's uh, pretty handy next up we have the gem of eternal density so this basically slowly when in the players inventory converts low EMC items to high EMC items. Um, it also allows you to create stacks of building materials when active so that you can just start placing more stuff down. So yeah, super useful. It's, um, yeah, can't really say much more. Last but not least, we have the Tome of Knowledge. So the Tome of Knowledge allows you to unlock all EMC kind of convertible items inside either your transmutation tablet, um, transmutation table, you know, or such things. Um, basically, um, when you use these transmutation tablets or tables, when an item is placed inside that has an EMC value, say such as a diamond and an emerald, they are then learned so that you can forever kind of extract them out of the table as long as you have enough EMC to extract it. Um, so basically the Tome of Knowledge um, is, is, is basically a creative-esque item so that instead of having to place each item into one of these transmutations, basically allows you to place the book in there instead and then unlocks all of them from the get-go. So I'll actually show you um, how that works in a moment because I've actually done that over there. Next up we have three levels of the Divining Rod. So the Divining Rod is actually very useful. So as I was saying blocks and items have varying EMC levels to so say like the diamond which has like 8,000. There are also items like stone which have like one <laughs> and same with dirt and uh, similar things like that. Your ores are also, um, you know, they also have EMC values. So basically the divining rod is useful for when you go mining and it allows you to search for varying EMC levels. So it comes in three different tiers. So you have the low, the medium, and the high. Um, these basically just have larger ranges depending on which tier you go for. Obviously the low has the smallest range. The medium has the mid-range range, and then the high has the largest range. So 
I suggest going for the Divining Rod high as soon as you can get it because it's super useful. With When you have mods um, that, say, give you stuff like emeralds or you have, say, RF um, tools, um, dimensional shards and stuff, um, those are worth a lot of EMC and can be used to convert into lots of other various items. So I definitely suggest trying to get one of those. So yeah, pretty cool. Right, uh, next up, <laughs> this is actually um, one of kind of the integral parts of the mod. So it allows you to work quite well with all the tools and the rings that we've talked about previously. Um, these are the Klein stars, so each one is a step um, kind of up and they have more storage, but basically these allow you to store EMC. Um, these store EMC so that you can use them with any of these tools and rings. Um, obviously the Klein star iron is the smallest from the Zwei to Dry, Vea, Sphere and Omega is your largest. So that's kind of like the stepped up tier, Omega being the largest, Ein being the smallest. Next up, we have varying colors of alchemical bags. Now, I don't, th I think you guys have basically guessed what each of these are. So basically they're basically your normal backpack. Um, very useful just to store a whole lot of items. They have a decent amount of inventory space. If I, oh, I'm in creative mode. If I was to open one here, as you can see, there's tons of space to place stuff in. So yeah, super useful. Right, next up we have the dark matter, red matter and gem kind of armor set. So Dark Matter is basically your first tier of armor set. Um, you basically use Dark Matter to make it. Um, then you have Red Matter. Um, once again, oh, sorry, to reiterate, uh, these both are better than Diamond. Um, this is only just slightly better than Diamond. A little bit much more, much more better than Diamond. And then the gem armor set itself actually is basically the red matter set in terms of armor and health values, but also adds abilities such as immunity to drowning and stuff very similar to your items back over there. But it's um, you actually use some of those items in the crafting of these armor sets so that you do not know, well, you no longer have to have those items in your inventory. You can have these basically worked into the gem armor set, which is then stored in obviously your armor hotbar up there. Next up, we have varying sets of tools. So we have both the dark matter and then also the red matter sets of tools. As you can see, the red matter set of tools has two extra tools that the dark matter does not. And that is because they are basically the, or I, I'd say the gem armor tier of the tools. Um, so basically your dark matter tools are, you're just substandard tools. So you know, you got your sword, pickaxe, axe, shovel, hoe, shears, but then you also have a hammer and the hammer is basically just used for mining and digging dirt as well as other items. So super useful in that. It allows you to mine in an AOE pattern. This is um, then used with charge levels. Um, all of these tools have charge levels in terms of how much EMC they use. With the higher charge level, the higher efficiency, damage, whatnot that they actually do when they are used. Um, so yeah, the Dark Matter Hammer, when fully charged, has a much more configurable and higher range when mining blocks. This is the same with the Red Matter set of tools. Um, the Red Matter set of tools is just obviously the same as the Dark Matter, but then stepped up in terms of damage, speed, and usability in general. However, we also have the Red Morning Star and the Red Qatar. So the Red Qatar and Morning Star are basically combinations of these items all in one to so say that you, instead of having 
all of these tools so from the hammer to the shovel to the hoe to the shears to the axe to the pickaxe and the sword you only have to have these two so basically your red morning star is your damage and say stuff like your axe your shears and your hoe and then your red guitar is like your sword your shovel your hammer and your pickaxe all in one so super useful um these once again have varying charge levels and will do more damage have higher speed have a larger aoe um, mining pattern when charged higher right so next up we're gonna go into the varying blocks which are added to the game um so this is basically your alchemical chest um <laughs> It's not that useful, it's basically either storage or allows the placement of the items that I was talking about over there. And um, yeah, it doesn't do much else other than that, it's pretty simple. Um, to make it, you need to make these sets of covalence dust, so um, basically you have low, medium and high. Um, yeah, so it's pretty, pretty simple, pretty easy. However, this alchemical chest is used in the creation of your first energy condenser. So your energy condenser allows you to place items inside it and turn it into EMC. So as you can see, this is the kind of chest. So when you say place, um, say like a diamond in this top corner here, and then you place any other item in this part of the inventory, it then converts it into an EMC value, which is then placed in this little bar here. And that'll go towards creating another one of the item that's in this top left slot. So it's very cool. I shall show you an example of that over there with this little power flower thing that I've got. Then we basically just have the stepped up version of the energy condenser, which is the energy condenser mark two. And just it, it just has basic overall improved ability than the original energy condenser next up we have two tiers of furnaces so we have the dark matter furnace and the red matter furnace these are basically just steps up improvements of your standard vanilla furnace however they can also be powered via these fuel methods so we have alchemical coal mobius fuel and atonalis fuel so these can be used to power these and um, basically they just smell items at ridiculous rates even the dark matter furnace itself allows you to smell these items at ridiculous rates the red matter furnace is basically almost instant so it's absolutely ridiculous um, in terms of these fuels um, coal <laughs> the, this is basically one you know it's eight coal packed into one and then moving on from there it's like you know four of these packed into one and then this one is four of these packed into one so basically the efficiency is very improved with each varying tier or fuel so they last a lot longer um and yeah so just absolutely amazing so try and use these when you can in your world right next up we actually have energy collectors so energy collectors basically allow you to kind of gain emc from the sun so when placed and have a light level um they collect emc um you have varying tiers of these so you have obviously your mark one mark two and mark three your mark one is made with a block of diamond as well as glowstone and glass and then basically it can either convert your fuels into emc or it can gain emc from sunlight this is the same with the mark two just that it has obviously <laughs> better improved efficiency and then also can gain more emc from the sunlight and then this is further added on with the mark three so it just gains more emc stores more emc and yeah pretty easy pretty simple right next up we have the antimatter relay so basically the antimatter relay is used in conjunction with the energy collectors and this basically allows you to transfer EMC from the energy collectors to said items like the energy condenser Mark 1 or the Mark 
too. It also allows you to turn some of these items into, you know, energy and allows you to charge up your Klein stars. So it's super useful for that. Next up, we have the dark matter pedestal. So basically, as I said, this was it's either used for decoration or you place said items like the Harvest Goddess Band or the Watch of Flowing Time on top of it. And then, you know, other than that, it's just used for decorative purposes. Other than that, we have the transmutation table. So this is um, basically the non-pocket version of the transmutation tablet. Um, the interface will be the exact same. Um, so basically to show you guys how it works, um, items are input. So items that you wish to condense into your EMC are placed in the left hand slot. This also allows them to be learned. Um, when the Tome of Knowledge is placed in the left slot, it then also learns every single item which has an EMC value. So as you can see, I have all the EMC values kind of in there. Since I've got other mods installed, such as power, it shows calculated EMC values. So if they are made of, you know, certain items that you can make using vanilla items, it basically Project E tries to calculate an appropriated EMC value based on the items that I used to make it <laughs> so that's super cool and super handy um, so as you can see I can go through and I can say with the Aetonalis fuel take it out because I've got my EMC and then it reduces my EMC but then when I place it back in it allows me to get more EMC back Next up, we have the Interdiction Torch. So the Interdiction Torch is basically your standard torch. It provides light, but then it also repels mobs um, in a radius. This is configurable via the config files, um, but I think standard is 16 blocks. So super useful for that. Um, <laughs> I remember using these quite a lot when I was uh, back in the good old uh, Tech It Classic um, with the original equivalent Exchange 2 mod. So next up I just wanted to show you guys a usability of these antimatter relays, um, collectors and then energy condensers. So basically as you can see it's like a power, so I've, 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 we call it a power flower. So basically you have at the bottom you have your energy collector and then in between so in between here you have an antimatter relay so this basically allows um, the energy condenser to get energy from all the surrounding collectors around it and then this is the same so on each face of this chest as you can see there's an antimatter relay Mark three, so one at the back, one at the bottom, one on the left, one on the right, one on the top. And then on each side that is possibly available, I've placed an energy collector. This then puts all the EMC into this energy condenser Mark two. I've put a diamond in the top left hand slot and then using all the EMC which is being collected from the sun, it is creating infinite amounts of diamonds for me. So super useful, um, however I will say it takes quite a while to get to this Mark III tier. Um, it does sound like a very overpowered mod. Um, this is only overpowered when you configure it to be overpowered. Um, but however it also takes quite a while with the standard configuration to get to this point. So it takes quite a while to move between dark matter to red matter and stuff, you know, like it's, it's, it's hard enough finding diamonds under the ground to think that you then have to create multiple of those diamonds to get just one dark matter and then multiple dark matters as well as more diamonds to get a red matter. And then the red matter can then eventually be used to make a lot of these other things and you know getting all of these tools takes quite a while so the last thing that we'll look at is just some basic blocks realistically that 
are added via using the various items that are here. So we basically have your standard dark matter block, which is nine dark matter, your red matter block, which is nine red matter. Then you have your alchemical coal block, your Mobius fuel block, and your Aetanalis fuel block. These are just kind of compressed versions of each fuel block. And then we also have the Nova Cataclyst and Cataclysm. So these are basically like TNT, but when infused with these fuels, absolutely destructive power. This it's just absolutely insane. They just have way bigger blast radiuses or do much more damage in general. Um, so yeah, I unless you wish to destroy your world, I do not suggest using these. Um, but you know use at your own peril right guys so that's basically it for these this mod spotlight i hope you guys enjoyed and hope you guys found it useful project e is an amazing mod and i absolutely love it um i shall be leaving a link to it in the curse forge in the description um also if you guys haven't already leave a like and subscribe leave a comment for the next mod you would like me to do a mod spotlight on. If you haven't already, follow me on social media. I am on, I've got a Facebook page and I also have a Twitter. So uh, follow me on there to stay updated. Um, also make sure that you guys press that notification bell. Otherwise you will not be notified when I upload new content. Um, but yeah, other than that, hope you guys enjoyed and I shall see you guys in the next video. Right, take it easy.